Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. This is another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and we have lots of bikini news today. Uh, out of nowhere, I guess spring is here. Uh, we have second masteries for units. We have the Jiggin X. We got it all. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's dig in. All right, so let's go ahead and hop right into the notices. Uh, and we will go ahead and go over the kit of these, uh, you know, new EX units and this new gear. Uh, we got Wode of Calc ready to pop up here. But of course, the first thing we have is a summer rerun. Now, the biggest kind of conspiracy theory I have right here, uh, you know, we're, we haven't gotten through all the news yet. But interestingly enough, there is no login bonus or login reward in the news this week. Now, maybe they just forgot to put it out and it's gonna be put out, you know, later today before this new like video goes live, but there's no indication of how much Vizior we're gonna be getting or how much login bonus. So I almost wonder if, yes, it's going to be a seasonal reissue unit this week. I almost wonder if there is still hope for Valentine's Ildira and they didn't release that image of the weekly Vizior because there's going to be some type of limited unit or potentially exclusive unit coming out this week. Who knows? Uh, but my hopes are pretty high. Uh, my hopes are high that they're kind of trying to hide it uh, and that they're kind of not trying to give us anything. Uh, in terms of what's going on this week, though, uh, we got new EX jobs for Luartha, Livial, and Kadia. Uh, Livial, I'm probably going to EX right away. Uh, Luartha, I want to EX as well because her quadruple shot gets upgraded. Uh, Kadia, I don't really care about too much, uh, if I'm being candid. Uh, of course, we have events for the new summer units. Uh, no information on the banners yet, but that's fine. Uh, and then along with these EX units, we're also going to be getting secondary masteries, uh, and we're going to be getting those masteries for Mont, Stern, Eld, and Rob. Uh, so again, later in this video, I will go over those masteries, uh, but they are going to be getting their secondary masteries, which will be very exciting. Uh, this is exciting because this opens up a lot of doors. It makes a lot of older units a lot more relevant, uh, and I'm particularly excited uh, for Elda, Stern, and Rob because... These are three units that are like bread and butter units, uh, and they're going to be changed quite a bit by their uh, mastery upgrades. Uh, Jigen Axe is going to be coming along with the light select quest weapon. Uh, so Jigen Axe, one of the best axe weapons designed for Summer Kill Fae. Uh, so that's going to be coming out, so you will want to farm one or two copies of that. Uh, we're also going to be getting light select quest number 11 to 13. If you aren't familiar, uh, the select quests continue to go up in number. Uh, and each of the select quest units actually gets a special weapon with specific buffs for that unit for them. So uh, it's going to be the customized lance for Camillo. Uh, it has some wonderful stats on it. Uh, and it's going to be very good. Finally, we are going to get the story part 2 chapter 5 scene 2 release. Uh, secret book reward quest and if you guys are looking to spend this week if you are amazon users if you want to support me if you want to support war on j any content creator just use our amazon affiliate links please mine is dig.gs slash coins uh but votive is going to be doing a three percent amazon coins back this week uh starting very specifically uh on 2 2022 until 2 25 2022 now it says while stocks last so i'm not sure if you're gonna have to go to this web page uh to redeem it or if it's just gonna be an automatic redeem uh i don't have that information yet i will definitely get it out to you uh by the 23rd uh but this website currently is not working i imagine it will work some point today so uh please look forward to that uh it's gonna be great to kind of get that additional uh you know anytime anytime someone's like do you do you want some free money uh i am all for uh, getting some free money. So what are the stats on the gear? Uh, what's coming out? So Chicken X is going to have a slash resistance penetration 20 for self, which is going to be very powerful. Uh, it, you know, only three units can equip it. That's going to be any unit. That's a Strider main class job. Uh, Moraga is going to be a great option for this. Summer Kill Phase is going to be a great option for this. Uh, we have the custom Lance, which has attack 172, accuracy 12, critical hit rate 5. On Camillo at five star, it gives light attack 15, spirit 15, spirit debuff resistance 100. So uh, it's gonna be very powerful 
In addition to that, Pierce Attack 20. Uh, Camilla, of course, is very good against magic-based compositions or mages. Uh, you know, when Camilla first released, I was using him against Black Rose Helena, uh, and it was a very effective strategy. Uh, so I'm really excited for this spear for Camillo. I don't think it's going to be meta-changing or meta-defining, but it will be just really good. Another tool in that arsenal uh, when you do need to roll Camillo out. Uh, King Elda's secondary... Uh, mastery ability uh, is going to give uh, HP plus 10% for fire allies, uh, fire attack 15 for fire allies, and then for himself, it's going to get upgraded to HP 25% for self and attack 30% for self. Uh, and then his LB also gets upgraded. So uh, you may not be able to see it on the screen down here, uh, but his limit break gets upgraded to uh, reduce his damage basically. Uh, so it's going to reduce the damage taken 50% for three times for self, uh, increases chance of being targeted. Um, so that's all the same, but he's going to get two casts of it. And instead of costing 43 AP, it's going to cost 43 TP. So, uh, going to change it up, making him into a little bit of a brawler type enemy or unit. That's going to be able to gather enmity or hate generation. I'm uh, going to make him a very cool unit. Uh, Stern previously just had critical damage plus 25. Uh, he has HP 10% for dark allies, dark attack 15 for dark allies, that critical damage 25 and he's going to get defense penetration 20 and AO res AOE resistance 10 for self. More defense penetration is good considering how much high attack he has. AOE resistance is going to help him survive. And of course, buffing his dark allies. Uh, Stern is one of those units that I think a lot of people use in dark slash compositions, uh, particularly if they want to, you know, get the full benefits of like triple trick. Uh, but Stern is one of those units who has low survivability and does tend to die. Uh, so anything that gives him AOE resistance or, you know, HP or dark attack is going to help. Also, that dark attack is also going to help allies in any type of dark composition that you might be running. Rob, his original mastery ability was critical hit rate 10, evasion 5. Uh, he's going to get HP 10% for light allies, light attack 15 for light allies. Uh, and then he's going to have critical evasion plus 10. Or sorry, critical hit rate plus 10. Uh, evasion plus 15. So he got plus 10 evasion. Uh, and he's going to get defense penetration 20 for self. Again, defense pen, always good. Um, glad to see it. Uh, King Mont, little bit unique here. Uh, you know, he gets HP 10% for Earth allies. But what's going to become a trend for MR units uh, is that they are going to get uh, buffs for allies that give status ailment resistance. So uh, for Earth allies, Mont is going to give disable resistance plus 25% as well as HP 10%. Uh, his defense 15, jump 1 are going to stay. And he's going to get pierce resistance 25% for self. So... I mean, Mont is going to be your go-to pierce resistant unit. Uh, and he's going to get a native increased chance of being targeted five for self. So uh, these buffs are going to be incredible. I'm really looking forward to them. Uh, for a lot of players who are new, these are going to be really good. Uh, for a lot of players who have invested in older units, uh, these are also going to be really good. There is just a lot to look forward to. Uh, and I hope you guys are all excited for also getting Jig Attacks and the new Light Select quest this week. Uh, I think other than potentially maybe a special unit reveal later this week, it's going to be a really good week. There's lots to farm. There's lots to do. Uh, and I hope you guys are happy because I'm pretty happy this week. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, and have a great rest of your day.